Hello everybody, Ginger Shadow here and welcome back to Fairy Tale Origins with me and only me because I'm on my own today because I don't know what's wrong with the scrubs but they just won't bloody come on with me. <laughs> oh, I've been, I meant messaged everyone like, hey, anyone alive? Anyone want to record stuff? Or do you want to play games? Like, maybe not specifically this, but you know, I would like to go and record other stuff with them. It's just like, I, I just get met with silence. I'm like, okay, everyone's dead. Um, Edwell's apparently cleaning his house. Pat's in California, I think, invading it. And Zaro is probably sleeping or something, and Demon and Match don't even ask, I just don't so I know anymore. They'll come around eventually, they'll come around eventually. But anyway guys, welcome back to the world of Fairy Tale World. Um, I've had numerous requests to do certain things, um, so I'm going to do certain things today that we'll get to in a second. Before we get to what we're doing, um, we have the question of the day. So last time I asked the question, what is the fight you'd like to have seen in the Grand Magic Games arc? And some of the answers I picked out. Sting versus Urza. Um, because she would have the right armor to fight and give her an advantage. And that was by Ashley Hewitt. And yeah, it would have been an interesting fight. Because Urza, at least at that point, arguably is probably like the second strongest like in both teams. Like she's she'd basically be team leader of like the A team. And then she's like kind of tied ish, just maybe below Laxus or around Laxus's level. Obviously, I don't can't really count Mystic because he kind of buggered off. And by Mystic, and I mean Jalal. So just just ignoring him now because he officially isn't actually part of the guild technically. Um, yeah, she's pretty damn strong. Her to fight Sting, I feel like she would actually just wreck Sting. Like I don't even think she would need some kind of light absorbent armor or light armor or something. I think she could just wreck him using different armors because it's Urza. I mean, she never loses anyway. Um, and the other one I picked out, Lucy versus Yukino because they are both powerful celestial wizards, and that's by Mr. Phoenix Blazer. And that is a fight I would have liked to have seen. That would have been brilliant because that's two top tier kind of celestial wizards. It would have been a brilliant way to introduce Yukino if they had made the fight with her because that, that, would, have been, that would have been epic. That is Celestial um, Wizard Showdown. Plus, um, Lucy actually beat Yukino's sister, Angel. Which would have been an interesting way of bringing Angel into the picture. Like, yeah, that's my sister. You kind of beat the crap out of her. She might be great. I, I feel like she'd be grateful for beating her up, her sister up, because her sister was kind of down the wrong path. So, I don't know. That would, have been, that would have been a nice little exchange there. But we just we never really got that, at least in fighting form. But yeah, as for fights, I would have seen Lucy versus Yukino was one I would have liked to have seen. Like, that honestly was one I, would, I thought would be cool just because it's two people with the same magic. Um, other than that, though, hmm... Alright, I think two that really spring to mind for me, Gadiel versus Grey, just because both of them I think are meant to be, at least at that point, around the same level, but just have never fought. So it, it, I think it'd be really cool if they did fight. Um, and Ichia, or whatever he's called from Blue Pegasus, him against, well, I'd argue at any number of people, like him versus Natsu, him versus Urza, just him versus someone, because Urza lets on that he's so strong, but we don't, other than him pulling out his muscle form thing and just, like, taking out the people from Control Saber, he doesn't really get a chance to do anything. So, it, it kind of adds to the mystery of, is this guy just a joke, or is he actually legitimately strong and we're just, like, getting tugged along here? Because I really can't tell with him. They say he's really strong, they say he's the ace of Blue Pegasus, but we haven't seen him do anything, like, really that good. Other than, okay, he did beat up the ace of Control Saber, but he got beat up by Elfman as well. well he never got beat up by Elfman. He beat up Elfman and broke his own hands in the process. Um... But no, we haven't seen them. We haven't seen them do very much. That would have been, would have been interesting just to see a bit more. Because most other guys we know are badass and really strong. We don't. Just, uh, whatever. That's what I would have thought. Anyway, now we need a new question of the day. So let me think. All right. Well, since today, because by high request, I'm gonna or not by high request, but like uh, people be request like you do the celestial craft stuff. So I'm gonna try it today. Um, we're gonna theme the question along with that. So if you had a choice of the celestial wizard. I'm not Celestial Wizards, if you had a choice of Celestial Wizards, no, 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 there's not very many of them. If you had a choice of any of the Celestial Spirits, which spirit would you have in your possession? So, like, say you're a Celestial Wizard and you can, you're going to get your hands on one key. Which key would you hope it is? What key would you want it to be? What would be what would be the one, um, Celestial Spirit key that you'd really, really want and you'd want in your arsenal? Let's hear it. Um, basically, what, basically what key spirit would you want, combo, to have? So let's hear that one, your reason why, in the comments section down below. Now anyway, let's move on. So we, I said I was going to try Celestial stuff. I'm not 100% sure how all the Celestial stuff works. I don't even know if it's possible to actually use it all, because Richie apparently tried using it in the beginning, and it didn't work for him. I'm going to try it and just see if I can do anything, because I don't know how much Richie looked into it. I don't know how much he experimented with stuff. I've not got him here to question him. Also, I'm hungry, yum yum. 
Um, so we're just we're, we're gonna give it a go, see what we can do. Because if I can summon the spirits, that'd be pretty cool. This is something Pat wanted to do for the longest time, just never really got around to it. Now, before I do anything else, so I know for a fact I'm gonna need this. I'm gonna need um, Nether Stars. So, yeah, that those will be handy later. I don't I don't need the skills right this second, but I'm gonna need them later. Um, so we can beat up. So we can beat up this uh, the um the Wither boss. Now, okay, the first things I know you can make celestial. Well, actually, let's just put in Celestial Craft. We'll just see what shows up. So, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Celestial Craft, here we are. So, here's all the things you can craft. Um, so, some of the more basic things. Celestial Stone, which is a Celestial Shard and a bunch of diamonds. It's actually really expensive. What is what is wrong with this stupid thing? It just... You, t you click on one thing and it just starts showing up tons of other stuff. And you're like, no, I didn't ask for any of this. What are you bloody doing? All right, um... Where is it? Okay, the Celestial Dark Stone. Cel celestial Furnace. Okay, that's something we need. So that's Nella Star, Celestial Blocks, and Cel Galaxy Stone. Okay. That's actually quite a lot. Um, Celestial Log. Hold on. There is a Celestial... There's a hub. Click. Hold on. What's what's the button it's set on? Is it Y? No. No, it's not. Hold on. Options. Controls. All. Where Where is the Celestial stuff? Celestial stuff. Celestial Craft. Hub Display. H. And obviously I don't have a key pouch, so you can't open that. So if I click H, it does nothing. Okay, never mind. Um, Alright, we do have a Celestial Forge here. So I've had that for a while. Um, Oh wait, no, that is the Forge. Where's the Celestial? It's the Furnace I was looking for then. Where sodding hell is it? Uh, buh, 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 buh. It's hard to see when the thing's going for it. Also, find Celestial... How do you make this stuff? That looks cool. Alright, we'll ignore that for now. Um, got the different swords and stuff. Celestial Forge, we already know about. I mean, what was it? The furnace I clicked on. Celestial Forge, okay, it is the first I clicked on. So I need a Nella Star, I need Celestial Blocks, which if we get tons of that stuff. And Galaxy Stone. Galaxy Stone is a Nella... Oh, Jesus Christ. Galaxy Stone is a Nella Star in itself. Celestial Stone and Star Shards. The stone is Star Shards and 8 Diamonds. And the shards themselves, I'm pretty sure come from the seeds. So I think we already have a bunch of them. Yes? No? Maybe? Hold on. Let's grab all this. Because not that. Get away from there. Uh, we don't need that. Let's grab all the celestial stuff that we know we have. Because I've been collecting it for a while. Might as well try and put it to use now. If we can. Also, my inventory is so full. So I'm actually going to quickly cut and just ditch a lot of this stuff. And by that I mean I'm going to shove it all in my bag. So one second. Ah, oh, there we go. That's much more spacey now. Much more spacey. I'm going to hold on to this just so I can charge up every now and then because I need, I need to keep building my experience up for this if I'm ever going to level up and build up my lightning magic cells. So yeah, this, this is kind of necessary. Um, but right, okay, so this is this is a heavy costing mod. This is a heavy costy thing. So this is going to be a pain to do it all. Right, all the stuff we have on Celestial Craft. So we get more of these, more of these, tons more of these. Uh, da, 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 more of them. Which, they stack in 36s. I don't think there's anything else that ever stacks in 36s. It's quite odd. Um, we got There we go. Star Shard's right there. So we have got some. So that's good. That saves me some time. So I, I was pretty sure you get it from the farm anyway. But right, okay. We have Star Shards. So what can we use Star Shards for? We can build Celestial Stone. We can build Celestial Grenades, which I'm going to try out. We can build Aqua Stone. Um, Galaxy Stone, which is really stupidly expensive. Glimmer Stone. Crimson Star Stone. And Dark Star Stone. Okay. So there's quite a lot of things here. So let's let's try building okay. Celestial Stone you use to go to the Celestial World, I think. If I'm right. So hold on, what am I what is my situation with diamonds? Probably probably very, very bad. Overall. <laughs> um I know I'm actually better off than I thought I was. Okay, I'm not really that better off. I've got 59 diamonds. Okay, that's not enough. But what we do have is we do have tons and tons and tons of this, um, the essence that we've been collecting for a really long time. Um, so I can make eight diamonds with, okay, that's not actually that much. <laughs> not actually that much at all. Oh, God. It should be enough, though. It should be enough, I think. Maybe, hopefully. So hold on, let's put that there. Put that like that. Oh, God, this is... It's heavy, heavy, like expensive. All right, I got eleven um, star stone. I'm pretty sure I, uh, an Elder portal is fourteen. I don't know if you need to have a full portal or whether it can just be a part portal. Hmm. No, we'll try putting it out. We'll see what happens. Hold on. 
Um, let's let's go in here. Let's go in here for this. Let's go in the guild. This should make a portal to the celestial world if this works. This is kind of important for what I've got in mind. Cause I, I, I'm gonna go down and get Richie's stuff that he's already uh, made for this. We'll just see how it goes. Hold on. So one, two, three. Get over here. Okay. Arguably, maybe I don't want to sit it right here because. I would have loved it if the smelting would have kicked in there and I just got like got tons of that there somehow. That would have been brilliant. Right, okay, hold on. The, yeah, here, okay, here we'll be fine. Boop, boop. One, two, three. Break you. One, two, three, one, two. Now, is it flint, is it flint and steel to light it? I don't know. I really don't know. I'm gonna. I'll try. I'll try some of this stuff out and see if I can get this to work somehow. Because I've never. I don't think there's any guide on this stuff. Like, the celestial stuff's pretty weird. There is a. There is a wiki page, but all it shows is crafting recipes. Right. Okay. Here's his celestial stuff. So Richie's already made a few things. Arguably, I don't know where. He, like, he got some of the Della stars for some of this stuff. But um, yeah, he's got this stuff. I might as well, I'll try grabbing some of it and just see if there's anything I can do with the stuff that he already has. I'll leave like these bits here because I don't need any of this. He has got the tells before Aquarius, that doesn't matter, that's not actually that important. Um, what is the Celestial Diamond? It is Celestial Gemstones, which is a bunch of these. Okay, and what can I use a Celestial Diamond for? Celestial Diamond can be used to make a Celestial Key Pouch, okay. Or it can be used to get two diamonds. Ooh, that's actually pretty nifty. Because, recite-wise for that, it's what, it's... Okay, it's actually pretty heavy. Um, it's like, it's 36 of, um, the things. So it's like a full stack of these, because he's only stacking 36. And you get two diamonds. Okay, that's not actually good. That's actually pretty bad. <laughs> just, no. <laughs> Don't you that. So I'm going to quickly try, just like, can I like, no, I can't do anything. Alright, I'll try, I'll try getting more of the Celestial Stone, and we'll see what we can do with that. Because there must be a way to light it. I'm, I'm imaging that maybe it just lights itself? Possibly? Like, once you fill it up? Maybe? I don't know. Right, okay, hold on. So, 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 so. Does Richie have a load of diamonds anywhere? Because, you know, he's not been on the server for a while, so. If I was to nick a few diamonds, I'm sure he would. If it's for celestial craft, it's for science. Um, he has 22, that's exactly one less than what I need. And don't worry, I will replace these at some point, because I have got access to more diamonds. There is a farm down there, filled with diamond stuff. We could we could make that farm greater again. Um, hold on. Let's go look at the farm. Let's go look at the farm. Let's see what we can do with this. Also, can I just can I just air sigil there because that's a bit quicker. There we go. Right. Yeah, I land on the bed. That's fine. I was thinking yeah, maybe I'd broke a thing there. Right. Hold on. Diamond. 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 Where are, are the diamonds? Where are the diamonds? I don't even know. Is there none here? Also, is my golem dead? I think my golem's dead. I think someone's killed my golem now. Which it took them a long time because you know he was he was standing for a while. Did I pick him up? I can't remember. No, I'm pretty sure he's dead. Um, there is no diamond here. That is pretty. That's pretty damn odd. Because I was sure there'd be diamonds here. Why would there not be diamonds here? Why would they grow wheat over diamonds? I don't understand this thought process. Okay. That puts a hitch in my plans. Because I had a diamond farm downstairs. Before I let and started shoving demons down there. Alright, how much? Do we have any more diamond? We've got eight more diamond worth. Alright, saw that it. It'll work. That's enough. That's enough for what I need. So, boop, boop, boop. But if this doesn't sodding work, it's going to be quite sad. But whatever. Three more celestial stone. Boom. Right, okay, hold on. While we're at it, I'm gonna quickly just go and plant. Um Where is it? Diamond seeds. There'd be more more diamond seeds, there we are. Um put the essence away. Hold on. What can I use this for? Usage. What is that? Magical fer fertilizer. Okay, you can use it with fertilizer, but that requires a diamond in itself. It's not it's not gonna happen. It's not going to happen. Although I'm pretty sure they actually have fertilizer down there, but I'm not going to go nick that as well. I've already nicked most of their diamonds. But it's fine because the, the farm right here will grow back the diamonds for them. And I'm putting diamonds down for them. So, you know, all is good. Also, I'm going to remove the wheat because 
why are you growing wheat on a magical farm? Just someone want to explain this to me. Yeah, wheat's pretty pointless. You're honestly, you're better growing potatoes or something, aren't you? I mean, why, why would you grow wheat? I mean, okay, you can get bread off of it. But, you know, a potato, a potato would be much more handy. On top of that, I can get unlimited potatoes because of my, because <laughs> of the wind thingy magic thing. I've got the wind dome thing from Avatar, sure. It's like, I can just get unlimited potatoes if we wanted them. Arguably, I would have, like, it was cool that I got that dome, because it's the only, I think it's the only avatar thing so far anyone's found on the server. And I actually wish I'd really marked it now, but there was nothing else there, so it wouldn't have really mattered. Um, but yeah, the, uh, let's quickly grab all this while we're running around. Da -da -da -da. By the way, am I, am I a complete idiot and just somehow miss the, the actual diamond patch? Like, I, I seriously don't see one. Like, obviously this farm hasn't been worked on in a little while, but I seriously just don't see one, so... I don't think there is. Anyway, let's shove all this away. Right. Celestial Stone. Let's see if we can open this. Let's see if we can get to the Celestial Spirit Worlds. Because even if, if we do get to this dimension, I can still get back. Even if a portal does not open the other side, I can still get back. Because I've got my dimension magic. So I'm completely safe. Alright. Open sesame. Nothing happened. Okay, that's quite disappointing. Can you... Can you, can you just... Damn, okay. There, it, there will be a way to open this. I'll try a flint and steel next. And let's just see if that works. Like... Let's just go back to the classic flint and steel and see if that opens the way to the celestial world. Oh, they've got flint and steel sitting here just nice and ready. Also, just to note, they have nine nether stars just chilling here. So they've been killing like hella weather skeletons or weather um, bosses while they've been here. So that's the thing. I had no idea. I don't want to steal their nether stars. I'd rather just kill my own guys. Okay, well, this does nothing. It's disappointing. Um... So if there is a way to summon it, I have no solid clue how it works. That is how it is. And I have just become aware that I may have just... Yeah, okay, we're fine. We haven't let anything on fire. It's all right. It's all right. Okay, well, I've now nicked these two, which... Rich doesn't know if it works. If it does work, then I can show him how, and then I can pay it back that way. Because so, right now, to him, they're useless. So, yeah, that's a thing. All right. All right, well, let's begin then. So, there's a bunch of things we could craft there. So, using... Okay, using the shards... Alright, the grenades. We can make the grenades. We could make a grenade. But do I really want a grenade? Okay, yes, of course I want a grenade. That's not even a question. Of course I want a sodding grenade. So hold on. Um, let's just nick this for a second. It's not really nicking, it's mine. Uh, right. We need two of these. We need one of our very, very few diamonds that are left. What's our thing we needed? We needed three gun... Okay, three gunpowder and two TNT. This is just for one. That's actually pretty expensive. All things considered. Uh, one, two, three. Also, my memory's completely failing me. How on earth do you make TNT again? Do I have any more TNT just lying around? I mean, arguably, you think you should. How do I break a TNT car around? How do I break you down? Give me your resources, damn it. Alright. Oh, hello. There we go. Right. Two TNT. Three gunpowder. And we have a celestial grenade. And I'm not going to put that in my hand because I don't know if it will explode straight away. So we're just going to keep that in inventory as a hot potato for now. Right, what was the other stuff? We can make... Okay, there's this... Oh, crap, that requires six of this thing. Uh, duh, duh. Okay, that requires six thingy. That's that's a problem. That that's... It's not really that much of a problem, but it is, it is an issue. Okay, I need six more celestial stuff. I've got to go get more diamonds. Which means I've got to go through the process. Oh, God, this is going to be fun. Alright, it's doable, it's doable. I can I can definitely do this. I just need to you go and um hit the farm up a little bit and go and use some of the, the growing stuff. That's fine. It's alright, I'll be able to manage it. Alright, let's just quickly try making some of this stuff, because this stuff's a bit more simpler. So it's a quirk stone, um crimson star stone, glimmer star stone, and dark star stone. So for that we just need dyes and you yeah, always need dyes, stone brick. And one of these. So let's quickly try that because I've got tons of stone just lying around. Because, you know, I like building a bunch. So, shove that like that. Put that like that. Then, the easiest one we can make is the lapis, obviously, because we've got tons of lapis. So, one, two, three. I'm just going to make one of each just to see what it looks like. So, there's the first one. Which is like that. I mean, this is going to make for some nifty ceilings. Well, the other two. You'll sedge. Alright, the other colours we need cyan dye, rose, and grey. Alright, I'll just quickly grab all them. 
Someone's like, so I'm really glad that Ars Magica requires... Okay, that's the wrong die. Um, it requires a lot of certain, like, colors in order to operate. So, like, we can actually get all this stuff pretty easily because I've got it, like, chilling right here. Because, okay, that was the wrong die, but I had to make, like, great ages ago. But, yeah, the other die, it's just, it's that and it's bone meal, which... Where, where's the bone meal? Okay, surprising enough, I don't actually have bone meal in there. But I know I've got tons of it lying around because we kill skeletons all the time. So here we are. Boop, boop, boop. I'm going to need another ink sack. Yeah, I'm going to need another ink sack. <laughs> I need to stop walking away from this stuff. I need to start remembering. I need more. God damn it. There we go. Four grey die. Now, that's the wrong place. Here we are. Final stone. Which was the Glimmer Stone. Alright, so that's just a different stone. So it's just slightly different coloured. Like, if you want to make paths, I suppose, or even walls and stuff, that'd be pretty fancy. It's kind of... It's not really expensive, but it is, like... It is five stone bricks to just make one brick. So it's like, you're using five bricks for one. Then you also need three colouring and one of those things for each one, which... Okay, the shards aren't actually that expensive, really, because you get them out of plants. Like, you can grow them, so they're not that bad. Okay, so this is the spell interruption there, but we'll just go past that. Um, right. So the next bit was... So now that I've done that bit, moving on, um, we can make... Basically the bit we've already kind of took from Richie's place, one of these. Which, it comes uncharged. Now the key is trying to figure out how the hell we charge it. Because if there was a way, it'd be really handy to be like, we just served it in this stuff. Could that, could that please just work? Also, I love this table just because it's got so many slots in it. <laughs> It looks so weird. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, right, just grab all this, grab all this. Alright, that doesn't work. Let's grab you. Um, right, okay, well, what else? I'm now clicking on things, I shouldn't be. Alright, well, our keys are easy to make, so I'm pretty sure just about all the keys are going to require a... How much am I call it? A nether star, which I don't have one of yet. Are there any that don't require a nether star? There are a few... Hmm, hold on. There are celestial swords. Well, I might try making a celestial sword quickly. Hold on. So, it's a certain sword. I'm going to try quickly crafting. I'm just like I'm actually looking at like the crafting recipes while I'm doing this. So let's just see which ones I can make. Cause this does that like the celestial stones. The the celestial um metal. It's supposed to be really hard to get, or it's it's not supposed to be hard to get, but like, you're not supposed to get a lot of it. Right? Because of the way we've got things set, we get tons of it whenever we want. So. You know, this should be a really hard process, but for me, it's not. So here we go. Okay, that is correct, but okay, that's... Oh, that's where the problem kicks in. Right. That would be correct to make a certain weapon. But because none of them are charged, we can't get it. So, yeah, the big key is going to be figuring out how to charge these things. Other than just going creative mode and just picking up a charged one. Because if we look up Celestial Symbol... If our stupid, if our stupid page thing would stop being weird... Um, where is it? Also, can we look at crafting recipes for anything in here? Obsidian stick. Oh, that's part of celestial craft. Just two obsidian, you get a stick. All right, that's interesting. Uh, but yeah, let's let celestial blade with 19 damage. It's actually pretty strong. That was the one I was trying to get, the celestial gun blade, which is a weird name. Celestial gun blade is a hybrid weapon that uses the ability to harness your celestial power and focus in a projectile. So you'd be shooting levels, I guess, at people, which would be interesting. Celestial Log doesn't have a crafting recipe. Okay, so I'm guessing that's stuff you get from the Celestial World. Galaxy Stone. Um, what is the usage of Galaxy Stone? Galaxy Stone is used to make these for... Oh my god. I forgot how expensive this thing was because it gets five out. Alright, the Furnace is the easiest... That's not the easiest. It's really cost-absorbing thing there. Okay. I mean, we could get one. We just need to kill a bunch of Withers. Hmm. But argument, I'd like to try and figure out how to open the portal to the Celestial World, because maybe these things will charge. Like, hmm. I shouldn't you have a way to charge them? <laughs> I really don't. I'm trying to think in my head here. Is there any way I can think of to actually charge them? Because uh, I really can't think. What would charge one of you? Also, what on earth? They do stack. Ooh. Didn't think they would. Hmm, what could charge it? What could charge it? I mean, being in Celestial Spirit World, maybe? But that's then the next question is how do we open the portal? So this is something I need to try and figure out because there should be a way, I think. Like, there's pictures of the portal being opened. 
It's just how how do we open it? Maybe we throw a celestial grenade at it, which is a very stupid, risky thing that you shouldn't really do because if you do that, you might risk blowing up the stone. This stone, each one of these stones is worth eight diamonds. It's a pretty valuable material. Right, okay, I need to quickly go off and see if I can get any ideas on how to open this thing. Okay, so just looking up on everything I could find, like looking at all the crap, like the videos and stuff done for this, there aren't any recent ones. I honestly don't even know how decent the mod is updated, but I don't know, the stuff for this mod is really badly done, like, the mod itself looks nice, don't get me wrong, I mean like the, like, the wiki page and stuff, like, it's just not helpful, like a wiki is meant to be, wiki's meant to have all the information, it's got Sonic, it's got crafted recipes, because you can't check recipes in this normal because of the 5x5 five five grid, is it 5x5, five five? it's 5x5, five five. because of the grid you can't check recipes normal, but yeah, it just, there's nothing on there telling you how to get the portal up, so we could put open a portal on our own, like, I could just grab the portal bits from here and put it up. But again, that's cheating, and there is that chance that I will literally crash the server if I do that. Because like I'm looking at all these things, there's a bunch of stuff here, but none of it's actually craftable. Um, celestial curing stone. Another stone with strange properties. Utilizing it seems to have a s curative effect. So there's no way of crafting this though. Um, dismissal diamond, a stone. Okay, the celestial apple. Even apples you can't be crafted, but you can find them in dungeon chests. I know that. Um, we could make the furnace, because I think that's the only thing craftable at this point, so we could make it to see what's so good about it, but I reckon the only thing is going to be, I clicked on the forge there, um, I reckon the only thing that's going to be there about it is, like, it's going to be maybe slightly faster, or it's, it's going to be, like, a, it's going to be a waste, that's, that's what I honestly think, but, you know, I'm willing to give it a try if we want, it's just, or am I? Hold on. What do you mean for the furnace again? Where is the furnace? Where's the where where is the furnace? It keeps sodding moving about because of the celestial furnace. Here we are. Okay, you know what? it requires galaxy stone for each one, so that's six six, twelve, twenty-four, twenty-four times eight is ninety-six. That's ninety-six diamonds. Just for the galaxy stone. Plus five Nella stars. <laughs> plus the celestial blocks. Jesus Christ. All for stuff that we don't think works. I mean, okay. Okay. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to try, I'm going to put the portal down. I'm going to do it correct mode, because I don't think there's any other way. And when we go in, we'll see if there's any way we can charge these from the celestial world itself. Also, before we do, though. Yes, we have our spells. We, ha we have the spell to get home. There's a chance using this will crash things. Because I don't know what will happen. I've never, I don't remember ever trying this before. So we'll give it a go. We'll see what happens. Hold on, go game mode C. Okay, so uh, aside from the fact that I just kind of crashed the game. Because I forgot if I type in creative mode on that server, um, I kind of crash. I don't know why it does it. Like, I never really go in creative mode on that server. Like, unless a situation really calls for it. Because I kind of mostly type play legit. Unless there's something that happens that just needs creative mode to be done. Um... So yeah, for whatever reason, I just crashed wherever I searched in there. So that's the thing. So I'm in a single player world right now, so I'm going to try here, just so I don't like, crash the whole server and break it or something, because it's very possible. So here, we'll just quickly see what we could do. So like, the celestial grenade doesn't actually do anything. <laughs> Hold on. Maybe if I slash... Okay, so I just gave myself a lot of XP. Can I, can I throw the grenade now? If I... Survival mode, can I? Why would I want to give skill points? Slash game mod. Game mod. Yes. Alright, so now level 72. Yeah, the grenade does nothing. Grenade's literally just a waste. So yeah, that's the thing. Um, back in... Back? No. That mode. Right, let's try making this portal. So, I mean, technically I don't even need, like, the actual portal stuff right now. One, two, three. Three, three. Like, here's how the portal's supposed to look. Then, here's the portal bit. So, this this is just single power. So, if I crash the game, so be it. Doesn't matter. What do we do, though? The furnace. It's just a furnace. <laughs> I don't think there's anything more to it. So, can I quickly just pick up the celestial stuff? Let's just see if there's anything done. Because this can be done inside the actual game, I'll try it. I just want to show off here because people have been saying for a while, can you try the celestial stuff? Like, since day one. I've said before, like, it doesn't work. It's kind, of, it's kind of broken. But if people want me to at least... I'll, I'll show that it doesn't work if I need to. 
until the mud's been updated apparently we just can't do a lot with it we can make celestial armor and bits and pieces but that's about it without going creative so what am i looking for i'm looking for one of these or i'm looking for a bunch of these um so grab them so the uncharged ones can i do anything with you i can put it in the furnace it does nothing um i think this thing it just stores power and you can use it i think that's the only thing a celestial furnace does so let's try a different way let's put, type in lava no God damn it. Off there. Right. Lava. Lava bucket. Give me a lava bucket. Shove that in there. Okay, it does nothing. Let's try coal. What does coal do? Coal. Hank's coal ever. Apparently, I've got unlimited coal there. Shove coal in there. That does nothing as well. Okay, that's pretty weird. But I can shove them in there too. That's the thing. Um, let's just grab some cobble. Cobble. Hmm. How do you smell this stuff then? I don't know. This is a pretty weird furnace. It's pretty. It's a pretty weird furnace. I have no solid clue how this works. Hold on. Oh, hold on. Wait. The slash. The the wiki. Does the wiki say anything? Is the wiki going to be helpful for this? It shows the furnace. It shows the furnace with energy in it, but it doesn't actually show what you need to put in to power the furnace. It just shows a bunch of items the guy's ever because he's wanting to be fancy to show off. So the celestial furnace, I think, is busted as well. Like, that would have been a waste of five dollars. stars. Right, the portal. Let's see what this does. Well, it's downloading terrain. So they have made the dimension. Dimension is a thing. Well, what's going to happen when we get there? Or is the game going to crash? If it does crash, I'm just... <laughs> That'll be the last thing we need to check with Celestial Craft until it updates. Which is quite sad. I would love to do the Celestial stuff, but without going creative mode, without making some connections, like maybe we can make NPCs and shops to give us the bits, like give us the charged um, crystal bits. Because if we have the charged crystal things, we can do this stuff. We just need... Okay, this is freaky. Um, so the portal does work, but there's no way of opening it. The Celestial Atmosphere is sucking your life force, so that's a damn shame. Maybe I should put on some Celestial Armor. Celestial... Where is it? There we are. Let's put this on quickly. Just... There we go. Are we good now? No, it's generally just sucking away at my life force. Okay, you're not meant to be in this dimension, apparently. Which makes sense, but my god, that is pretty. The sun is beautiful here. Sun's pretty here. So... What's so good about this dimension? Like, other than it looking majestic as hell, those lunar spirits... Which are evil. Hold on. Let's grab let's grab the celestial weapons. Um this is a gun blade. Oh That's a cooldown, okay. Let's just straight this thing. Oh wow, okay. The sword's got a bit of a debuff thing, but it does a lot of damage. And that gives a struggle. Okay, the Lunar Spirits don't give you very much. I could have already told you that. Yeah, I think this thing did a ton of damage in here. But, yes, yeah, Dementia would kill you pretty damn quick unless you had region on which this armor is supposed to give you, but it wouldn't work, I'm going to guess. My god, this is pretty. Completely pointless, but it's pretty nonetheless. Like the, oh, let's, let's see the night time. Time set. 1800. No, it's just, does it just always look like that? Oh, okay, got right, the moon and the sun are always here, okay. There's no moving moon or sun in this world, because it's... I guess the time, time of day doesn't really matter, it's just always a, in a set time of day. Alright, cool. Um, I don't think there's anything in this dimension, though, no. that's actually of any use, it just looks pretty. And it'll kill you, very slowly. Is there a way, like, hold on, is that other armor? If we put on the other armor, will that, will that, will that keep us alive? I just kind of want to see what it looks like. Just just while we're here. Um, just shove this on. Let's probably type a little message to make sure. Oh yeah, it's it has stopped indeed sucking away our life force. Okay, so we wear this suit of armor. And apparently you're good to go. No, I don't want to take that. So can I go? Can I just go? Can I go game mode S? Yes, I can. Oh, wow. <laughs> the sword's... Pr it, it shoots a projectile. It just costs you a ton of levels, but it shoots a projectile. 
we Okay, and projectile kind of falls as well. Um, are we okay? Oh wait, these things though. These things. Can you can you charge in here? Is that a thing? Do we need to come out here to charge you? This is my only other idea was to see if it charges in here somehow <laughs> magically. But no, I don't think it's gonna. Don't think it's gonna. I think we're out of luck. Also, this armor must be pretty beefy. Hold on, which. Ow. Oh yeah, that's right. If I take any of the armor off, it will suck away at my life force. Oops. Forgot about that bit. Um, yeah, don't take the armor off. Don't never take the armor off. Also, shooting this. Seven, seven levels. Not bad. Not bad for a cool projectile. If we get the charged stones, we could do this. We could make these things. These things are very much craftable. It's just you need the charged stones. The, char the stones themselves can't be charged. I say we make a shop. And we give it, like... You have to get change in one of these stones that like one of the uncharged ones and something else and you get like something back. Also this armor is pretty swag. I really is armor, it looks pretty nice. I don't know, it's just maybe it's just the whole sit thing. Um but yeah, I think as far as Celestial Craft goes, without going creative, without making a shop to do stuff, I don't think there's any way we can do this stuff, so yeah. Um a lot of stuff just uncraftable. It's just the mod itself, guys, but I thought it'd be worth just showing off because People have been saying for a while, could you please do it? Celestial Rock, you so pretty. So very, very pretty. But anyway, yeah, so you know what? I'm going to end this episode here. So thank you very much for watching. So I know it's been a bit of a weird episode of Fairy Tale Origins because I'm kind of... I'm kind of going an outer body experience here because this isn't really the Origin server. This is just kind of be floating about. But yeah, this is Celestial Craft. This is what Celestial Craft have to offer. So it does have stuff. And some of the stuff looks really cool and is really nice. But the way we're going to get it is if we make custom NPCs that sell certain things or if we make... Or if we just create a mod in. I would say we create Lucy inside the guild. And we just have her sell the stuff. At like an, a reasonable rate. Because I still think you should have to craft the stuff. Just charge. Like you should have a way to charge it. Because it's a, it's a fairy tale server. We should have access to this stuff. So you know. Let's let's just set it up. So I may actually do that. I may just set up an NPC. Because I don't think anyone would argue with that. As long as it's a fair price. Who's going to argue with that? We want to have access to this stuff. So it seems it's the only way. It's the only way. And it's fair. So yeah. I'm going to do that for next time. So maybe next time we'll do more Celestial Craft. Or maybe next time we'll have the charged stones at the ready. And we'll actually be able to craft some things and do some cool stuff. So yeah guys. In the comment section down below. First of all, question of the day was. Um, which Celestial Spirit would... Or which Celestial Spirit and Key would you have? Um, if we'll say if you're a Celestial Spirit Wizard, I guess. And the other thing I wanted to ask you is. is which key should I make? Because I'm going to try making a key next time then. If, assuming I sell the NPC. So if I if I make one of these keys. Which one should I make? Which one's the key that's... Which, which one's the key you think I should make? Let, let's see it in the comment section below. Because there's all different crafted recipes for the wall. I can make them if I've got the charged stone. So as soon as it's available. We're, we're bloody doing this. Let's do it. So let's, let's make one of the celestial keys. And let's try this out. Anyway though other than that guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed the show. Even though it's been a bit of a weird one today. I don't know, you get, I wouldn't say this was too bad. I mean, you've got, you've got to learn some stuff. It's a bit like a mod review, kind of. It's not really like a mod review. It's never, it's nothing like a mod review. If it was a mod review, I'd be doing everything in a very, very different style. Although, if I was remo I might review this mod at some point. I don't know, even though it's not a lot. There's stuff, it's a lot to review. It's just a lot of it's uncraftable, which is quite annoying. Maybe the mod will update, though. Maybe it'll update. Anyway, though, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you the next time for more Fairy Tale Origins. Goodbye, everybody. Also, Jesus Christ, just, I know I said goodbye everybody, but then I just spotted this. <laughs> this is death. These little spirits and cyclopses are really strong. This is, this is, I would send my enemies into this. I really would. This is actually a beautiful sight. I'm actually, if I can get into the spirit world on the server, I can totally teleport spirits back into our world and use them as weapons. Oh my God, I've just got plans. Yeah, goodbye everybody. See you the next time.